3, 2, 1. After a 24 hour delay due to weather conditions, one of the European Space Agency's most ambitious missions ever finally has lift off. Jupiter is the destination for this satellite. The Jupiter Icy Moons Explorer, or JUICE for short, will study the planet's ice covered moons, Callisto, Europa, and Ganymede to see if they have the conditions needed to sustain life. There is evidence that beneath the moon's icy crusts are oceans of liquid water, and the ESA mission will aim to determine whether these oceans have a chance of sustaining simple microbial organisms. We're not going to go alien hunting with this mission, but we are going to be exploring uh, Ganymede especially to see whether the ingredients that could support life exist in that subsurface ocean. The £1.4 billion mission was launched on an Ariane 5 rocket from Kourou, French Guiana, beginning a journey that will take eight years. The spacecraft will use uh, gravity assists around the Moon, Earth and Venus to sort of slingshot it into, into space towards Jupiter and get up to the speed that's needed to, to reach the planet in eight years. So it's carrying a, a, a suite of 10 state-of-the-art science instruments. It's going to be doing science while it's doing those slingshots. JUICE will perform 35 close passes of the moons, getting to within 400 kilometres of their surfaces before orbiting around Ganymede. Imperial College London has provided the magnetometer, which will uncover the properties of these moons' hidden oceans. So it will give back to us the magnetic field data, and from these magnetic field data, we can understand the conductivity of the interior of the moons. So we can understand if the oceans inside are conducting, how deep are they, and how much like salt do they have, or what uh, matter they have. So. What conditions are the experts looking for on the largest planet's moons? If you're looking for ingredients for life or for potential habitability to form, you need four different things. First ingredient is liquid water. The second one is a heat source, which we're almost sure we have at Ganymede because there's this internal dynamo field. Organic material. And then those first three ingredients to be stable enough over a long enough period of time that something can actually happen carbon, nitrogen, uh, methane. Um, what that will tell you is that the conditions are there for bacteria to be able to form. JUICE has an 884 million kilometre journey to complete, so we won't be getting answers until July 2031 at the earliest.